Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and as always, thanks for watching. Man, I got a good video in store for you today because we're gonna be checking out Rode's new Lavalier Go microphone, which is supposed to be the best companion with Rode's new wireless Go system. So we're gonna be taking a look at that coming up. Hey, real quick, before we get into the content of this video, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you wanna learn more about what it takes to make YouTube videos, gear reviews that'll help you along the way, tips and tricks and tutorials and all that good stuff when it comes to photography and filmmaking, as well as how to grow your brand on social media, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for my next video. Oh, and if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. All right, here it is, Rode's new Lavalier Go microphone. Let's check out what comes in this box. It comes in this nice leather pouch. Well, really, it's probably vegan leather, you know? Fake leather. Hmm, feels really good. So let's see what comes in the bag. We got the clip for the wire. Get the microphone itself. Oop. And a little Velcro strip to keep the wire nice and organized. And the bag, that's it. So let's hook it up to the Rode Wireless Go system and try it out and see how it sounds. First, we'll do an audio comparison. We'll, we'll use just the Rode Wireless Go system and then we'll hook up the lavalier mic. All right. The audio you're hearing now is with just the Rode Wireless Go system. It's plugged into my A6400. I have it set on the medium decibel setting on the receiver and the A6400 volume is set to two. So this is the audio with the Rode Wireless Go system. This is an audio test, one, two, three. All right, so now let's hook up the new Lavalier Go microphone and hear the difference. All right, so now I'm mic'd up with the Lavalier Go with the Rode Wireless Go system. How's it sound? Does it sound a lot better? Let me know down in the comment section. I mean, you're gonna be hearing this before I do, or wait, I will hear it before you do because I'll be editing the video, but you know what I mean. Let me know how this sounds down in the comment section below. So this is an audio test with the Lavalier Go microphone. This is an audio test, one, two, three, audio check. Let me know how this sounds. So the reasons I love the Rode Wireless Go system and I think this Lavalier Go is gonna be an excellent companion with it is you don't have to be glued to the camera. I mean, I got my boom microphone right here, but you know, I could get up and I can walk away. I can go all the way over here, which is on the other side of my office. Now I'm outside the office, walking into the kitchen and you know, you don't have to be glued to the camera, which is pretty nice. Oh. So that's definitely a benefit of going wireless. Now, who's the Lavalier Go for? I wouldn't really recommend it for vlog style video. I mean, then you'd have to mic up every time and hide the cord. It's not really ideal for that, but it's perfect for this. If you're in a studio doing YouTube videos and you want some good audio quality and you don't wanna have to boom the microphone, this is a great option. Let's talk about the features of this Rode Lavalier Go microphone. It's a broadcast grade lavalier microphone with a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack. It has a high quality omnidirectional condenser capsule, meaning you don't have to face the microphone a particular direction. You can face it any direction and it should you know, pick up the sound perfectly. It has a durable Kevlar reinforced cable. It's optimized for use with the Rode Wireless Go system and it includes a pop shield, mounting clip, and carrying pouch. Um, I'm not reading this off the website. You're reading it off the website. Well, that's the Rode Lavalier Go microphone. It's pretty awesome. It pairs nicely with the wireless Go system. It just plugs right into the transmitter. You can clip it onto your belt or your pants or whatever, and then just mic up. Something I noticed though, is it does come with the pop filter already on the microphone. So to use the clip, you need to pull the pop filter off. And then this little clip, you can just squeeze it and then connect the, the condenser microphone and put the pop filter right back on and then you're good to go. And then because this is omnidirectional, you can face it any way on the person you're miking up and it should pick up the sound nicely. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comment section again what you think of this microphone and if you wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description of this video. If you found some value in this video, give this video a thumbs up on your way down there and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for my next video. Oh, and then by the way, did you notice something different? Kinda I'm using a different lens, so it's a, it's a wider angle lens. What do you think? Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video.